Welcome back to Good Day on this Thursday morning. In life, you cannot really be ready for everything. But one thing you can be ready for, and that's when it all comes to an end. Be ready for that. Be prepared, and make sure your family's prepared as well. Today is all about your final will and testament. Everyone should think about doing this at some point in your life to make sure that everything is squared away. And here are the five tips to get that done easily. Number one, there are free templates online. You can go to an online site called Legacy Writer. You can go there. They'll ask you questions. You can fill out the questionnaire and start to put together your will and testament. And then you can save that document until you are ready to finalize all of those pieces and move forward to wrapping that up. But it's there for you online to get you started, and it's not expensive. Number two, you'll have to choose an executor. The executor is a person that will make sure that all of your wishes are taken care of, and they will handle all of the business after. Now, pick someone who is prepared to do it. It could be a family member or it could be an attorney, but ask them beforehand. It's a huge job. Make sure they're up for it, and they want to do that for you when you pick your executor. Number three. Take care of your kids. Everyone's saying, what do you mean? I already take care of my kids. What we mean is you have to be specific. If you're taking care of your kids, list them exactly what they're getting. If someone is going to be taking care of them as far as custody, make sure you have details on that. And more importantly, if there is a child that you have decided that you are not putting in your will, you can't just not mention them because that child can come back and sue. You have to mention specifically that you're not including that child in the will. Number four, define your burial wishes. That's pretty straightforward, exactly what you would like them to do, because if you don't, then it, it's left up to the family, and there could be disputes, and then they could go to court, and then that's further legal fees for your family to incur. And the last thing you want to think about when you're all said and done, ask an attorney. They'll help you figure out all the important parts, and they'll make sure you get everything officially notarized and make sure that it's complying with all state laws so that you can rest easy and your family can rest easy as well. That's five important tips for a very, very important thing that you should do for your life and your family. It's your final will and testament. Find out more, go to gooddaysacramento.com. Click on show info for today's date and man up for always being prepared. Coming up later on today, you know how we do. We're talking sports on the radio. We got a little show we do on Sports 1140 KHTK called Lowdown. The Lowdown. Yeah, keep it mellow. Keep it mellow. With me, Ken Rudolph, <laughs> Damian Burling, and Jason Ross. We'll see you guys a little bit later on. Ladies, back to you. Fantastic. Thanks, kids.